saw that blue PPE mask, I honestly felt sad and uh, guilty about it because I've used a blue PPE mask that's easy to throw away. My name is Shala. And I'm Oliver. We're dive professionals here in Anila, Batangas. So there's this area called Caban Cove. The dive site there is wonderful. The corals also very colorful. There's, we see turtles and many big marine life. When we arrived there, it's my first time again there after the lockdown. Clear. It's gotten worse. Yeah, there's more stuff like yeah, the PPE is just uh, 10 minutes on the dive. We saw like around 10, 12 masks and we never had that before. Yeah, we've seen uh, some masks which are there for like how many months already. Yeah, you can see the algaes and everything. So we don't really want that to happen. Take a look at the rubbish that was brought back by the divers. You can see here blue face masks, lots of them. There's a face shield here, plastic bottles, tarpaulins. And the question is now, what happens to this rubbish? Well, lots of it will go back to landfill. And without adequate waste management here in the Philippines, some of it could end up back in the sea. And that's a problem because polymers inside the surgical masks are breaking down into microplastics easily consumed by marine wildlife and the coral reefs that nurture them. Anilao is known for its marine biodiversity. Tourists around the world come here to dive. With the PPEs, we wouldn't want to show them yeah, that one, or you wouldn't want to have the fishes that uh, you're going to eat on your table having the PPEs inside them. Instead of using this disposable mask, why not just use uh, masks that are washable, reusable? So what we've seen in Caban Cove is just the tip of the iceberg, I bet. But if people were educated to dispose properly, we can still save it. 